Hello friends, today I am going to talk about the routes of the Drug Administration. The routes of the Drug Administration mean that by which way the drug should be delivered to the body. So the routes of the drugs are determined by two factors. One is the property of the drug, the other is therapeutic objectives of the drug. The property of the drug means that the drug is lipid soluble, water soluble or it is in ionic form. And the therapeutic objective of the drug means that the therapeutic effect of the drug required per, uh, required repeatedly or the therapeutic effect of the drug required for longer period of time. So this true picture actually determines the roots of the drug administration. So the major roots of the drug administration are the antral roots, the parental roots and the topical roots. And these three are the major rules for the delivery of the drug into the body. So the first route, uh, the the first route is the enteral roots, which is the administration of the drug into the body by mouth. This is called the enteral roots. So when we administer drug by mouth into the body, the drug may be swallowed. The drug may be placed just beneath the tongue, or the drug may be placed just between the gums and the cheek so the route in which the drug is directly swallowed is the oral roots the advantages of the oral route are self administered route and toxicity can be overcome by anti route if the drug causes the toxicity so the oral route examples are most NSAIDs omeprazole and many many others can be administered into the body through mouth and the sublingual uh, roots is the root in which the place uh, in which the drug is placed just beneath the tongue is called the sublingual uh, roots an example of the sublingual uh, uh, sublingually uh, drugs are nitroglycerin and buprenorphine and the other is buccal root in which the drug is placed just between the gums and the cheek is called the buccal root and uh, parental roots uh, may uh, are the administration and the parental roots is the root in which the drug is directly administered into the systemic circulation this is used when the drug is poorly absorbed from the GIT so we then prepare parental roots for the administration of drugs into the body the parental root may be intravenous intramuscular subcutaneous and intradermal the examples of intravenous drugs are vancomycin heparin and septrazone i have also shown the pictures of these roots so examples of intramuscular drugs are haloferidol and chloroquine and the subcutaneous roots in which the drug is administered into the body just beneath the skin the best examples are insulin and the epinephrine the intradermal root is the root in which the drug is administered into the body just within the dermis of the skin is the intradermal root these are the pictures of the various roots Other roots of drugs administration are oral inhalation and nasal preparation, intrathecal, topical, transdermal, and rectal. So, this was all about roots of drug administration.